Celebrity Karaoke Gala, hosted by the Bomber Family Foundation. This year's special guests included Dead Mouse, Mike Holmes, Stephen Finuca, and many more. Let's join the party. Marilyn Dennis, and I'm on the scene. This is Scott McGillivray, and I'm here on the scene. I'm Sarah Baum. I'm Brian Baumler, and, and we're, we're on, on the scene. scene. I'm Mike Holmes, and we're on the scene. Hi, I'm Steve Panuka, host of HGTV and DIY Network's Million Dollar Contractor, and I'm on the scene. Uh, we set up the Baumler Family Foundation to basically provide renos to children and families in need of accessibility, safety, and security. Uh, that, that, those are the, the pistons of our economy, of our society, of everything. And if we don't take care of them, you know, everything's going to start falling apart. So we've got to we got to help these kids out so they grow up and they learn to give back and and be you know good productive people. I really guys are involved with other charity organizations. So tell us a bit about that. We work with a couple of other organizations that we have just been involved with for, for many years now and organizations like the Reach Out Center for Kids that deals with mental health and I think having four healthy children of our own, we realize the importance of sort of teaching them to give back. This is the event tonight in Toronto. If you're not here, you might as well be home watching Family Feud. Baumler's Family Foundation for Kids supports kids who need things like wheelchair accessibility and we all know that our future depends on the kids around us and if they don't grow up the right way or if they don't even have a great life, what's in it for us later on? How is it important for you to be here tonight? Well, I, I, I think what Brian's doing is really cool. Of course, the cause is building homes for you know uh, less fortunate families and children and stuff. So I, you know, it's a good cause. So I think actually why I'm here is um, maybe just kind of mosh around, mingle, and, and to see what this is all about, kind of thing. And uh, what's that big EDM charity other than you know your your parking garage? <laughs> so maybe we should start you know putting some thought into that and do a kind of good EDM fundraiser that's a black tie kind of. Thing. Uh, I talked to Brian a long before it even started, thought it was a fantastic idea, and I said if you do that, I will be there every year, I will support it, and I will buy a useless piece of art every single time. So I'm here to buy some useless art. Now today it's karaoke night, are there any songs in particular that you're, you're going to sing tonight? Any favorites? No. I'm not interested in singing, but I get twisted into it every single time. It's fun. I know. Well, you know, the way I figure it is that Brian, you know, he sings me songs all the time, love songs, but whatever. And I figure I can repay him by at least getting up and doing a little karaoke at his event, right? This is about best friends forever. This is all the right reasons. I mean, I'm a dad. I'm a grandfather. We can we, not the next generation. It's about the kids. We're not going to be here much longer. This is all the right reasons. We're here to support. Knowing the great work that they do and the work that they both do as far as, you know, renovation and then extending it to helping other people out is marvelous. I am so proud of what Brian and Sarah are doing and stepping up, helping those less fortunate and the children need love and they need to be taken care of and so it's nice to help those that maybe don't have that as much. And the fact that it's a very sort of hands-on project where they're taking individual spaces and rehabilitating them and making them a home for these kids that really need them is something that's also very familiar. I mean Danielle's taken so many spaces for us and turned dilapidated houses into homes uh, that they're doing that on a very individual level uh, I think is really remarkable. It's going to have a huge impact on these people's lives. So I love Brian and Sarah and I love what they do for the children and, and it's really important to give back in life and so when there's a function like this and I get to come to Toronto, I have got on the plane and brought a few friends and we decided it's a really good cause to be a part of and it's a fun night and they give so much back to the community and it's very important so that's the main reason. I was a big fan of the show, The Real Housewives of Vancouver, and you guys were very interesting characters. How did you guys deal with the controversy with Jody and that kind of thing? It's not an easy show to do. I mean, we had fun. We, you know, there were some blessings that came from the show, but by and large, I mean, it was difficult because there was a lot of bullying going on and things that ways that adult women really should not behave. Um, so. I was holding back. I was holding back. Trust me. I was really trying to uh, keep my composure, and remain classy, and the whole deal. Had it gone on a little bit longer, could have had a different ending. Really happy to be here tonight. Um, it's the second annual gala, and uh, it's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So many people are here tonight, so I'm excited. Now our show is all about inspiration. 
inspiration. What advice do you have for some up and coming broadcasters out there? Because you've been in the industry for a long time. You have to have passion. If you don't have passion, then you're not going to make it. You have to really love it. All hours, not a great paycheck sometimes, but just keep going at it. Do it because you love it. And you wouldn't be standing here tonight if you didn't love it. And if you can name three things that made you successful in this industry, what would you say they were? Passion, um, stick to um, support from my family, my parents. Show up early, work hard, go home. That's, you know, show up early, work hard, go home late. That's, I mean, that's how we've done it. That's it for this episode of On the Scene Network. I'm Daria Roy. Thanks for watching.